Architecture is always in a struggle against Mother Nature, especially in a coastal environment here in New York and New Jersey. In addition to height and elevation and fortification against uh, hurricane events, this house was designed with this idea of how can you bring the sort of simplicities of living in an open plan, modern, almost loft-like apartment out to the beach. When we first came to Seabright, which was the summer after Hurricane Sandy, a lot of the town's businesses weren't open because they had been flooded. There were many houses that were flooded and demolished. We were very concerned about the rising sea levels, and if you kept a very flat ground and simply put your house up high, we knew from being actually here before the house was built that, this, that there would be times where there would be water. And really what we said to Rad was, we want a contemporary house. You guys come up with the ideas. We were thrilled by it from the very first time we saw it. So this house, we said, let's just keep it simple. It's essentially just two boxes stacked on top of each other and rotated to optimize views. The key thing is the height. In our case, we actually built the house two feet above the FEMA standard flood elevations. The idea would be that rather than sticking the house on stilts, we would essentially grade the land up and past the flood elevation, and we designed the landscape to allow water to essentially move in and out through a channel below the house. The house also has a hidden network of drainage features that manage water below grade in addition to the landscape which tries to divert water that might collect above grade. I think it, as long as we're prepared and we brought in all the outdoor furniture, we should be as good off as anybody can be on the Jersey Shore. We feel that the house is built really sturdy and strong, and with the landscaping and the concrete, we've created a pretty formidable piece of land should another big storm hit, but you can only do what you can only do, and Mother Nature will take back whatever she wants.